Behind the Curtain is a fan-made podcast based within the lore and universe of Five Nights at Freddy's, a video game franchise by Scott Coffin. As such, we do not claim any ownership over a majority of concepts presented within the story. No profit is being made from the production of this podcast. Episode 1. Pilot. Is this thing on? Okay, um... I'll be honest, I'm only recording this so the night feels less... empty? Lonely? I don't know. But sitting here idly for six hours sounds like enough to drive a man mad. I don't know how the last guy did it. Hell, I've only been here for 40 minutes and the silence is deafening. So, hmm, where to start? Well, nobody's gonna hear these. But I may as well say my name is Simon. I've worked with this company for about 10 years, but they only put me on the knife shift this week. Fantastic for me, I guess. <sighs> I'm so damn tired. God, my sleeping schedule is going to be shit now. Sleeping during the day, sitting in this office at night for four days in a row every week, and then having the day shift the other three? Also, Ollie having the shorter half of the week isn't making me feel any better about things. Boss wants me dead, for sure. I'm fairly certain the only reason he picked me and Ollie for the job is because we've been here the longest. Before certain things happened, Harper had been here for a month, Max and Bernard about a year, maybe? And Joel has a couple of years under her belt. I'm not quite sure. Right. That thing that happened... God. I still can't believe what happened to those kids. I mean, nobody really knows what happened to them because that bastard won't tell anyone where he put the bodies. But reading his confession was harrowing. The most disturbing part is that I'm sitting in the same office he did. Before we temporarily closed, he was the night guard. It's surreal, honestly. Good old Troy Marcus seemed to be friends with everyone. Then the restaurant closes its doors for an undetermined amount of time, and a couple of weeks later you see his face on the news with the headline containing the words MURDER and CONFESSION in bold text. Well, nothing can be done about it now, I suppose. What's done is done. Freddy's is reopening for business tomorrow, and soon life will seem somewhat normal again. Hopefully. Out of everyone here, I'm probably the most worried about Harper. Poor kid, lost two siblings to that monster. I don't know how V can bring for herself to come back to work. Maybe it's just out of necessity? I don't know. Either way, Harper's a good kid. I hope V's doing alright. I guess I'll just turn this thing on whenever I need to. Try not to waste the battery, you know? It's about... 3 a.m.? Yeah, 3 a.m. They really don't tell you how much sitting in this office chair can take out of you. Ha. I haven't done a single thing all night. Part of me is grateful for that, but on the other hand, the silence can get... creepy. A couple of times I've caught myself just staring into the darkness of the hallways outside. I can barely see a couple inches past the doorway. Everything after that is just pitch black. I haven't turned on the hall lights, though. Partially because I don't want to waste power, but also, I have a slight fear that if I turn them on, I'll see something staring back at me. It's stupid, but I just can't shake this weird feeling that I'm in some kind of danger. Which honestly doesn't make sense. I'm the only one here. Hello? Who's there? Show yourself! What? Strange. The kid must have left this behind. Well, it's mine now. I have no idea what it's supposed to be, though. It's all purple with little arms and legs. Happy little smile on its face. <laughs> I like it a lot. I think I'll name him... Purple. No. 
Purple. Yeah. That's a cute name. I think I'm gonna keep him in my pocket. Well, it's just about 6 a.m. A couple more minutes until I can finally get out of here and get some sleep. Somebody from the day shift will probably show up soon. Most likely our janitor, Max. He's always complained about having to show up early. I don't blame him. This place is creepy before the sun comes up. I swear, those animatronics are staring into my soul through that camera. Ha. I guess I'll pack things up for the night now. I need to get some sleep. Hi there! Uh, thank you for listening to the first episode of Behind the Curtain. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you stick around for more. See ya!